What we believe is that this is the era of sales enablement. Here's how to 2x your sales enablement productivity. The people that have traditionally been behind the scenes, but that now can actually be in the spotlight. Behind every star is an innovator, a visionary, a producer. The same thing applies to salespeople, but it's about making the right choices on the right technology to integrate into a company. And without sales enablement, you're gonna go extinct. You get it, it's the, um, it's the dinosaur. As a company that empowers sales leaders, we speak to a lot of sales enablement professionals. And the two biggest complaints that we get is that the training and the resources that sales enablement people provide to their sales staff, people ignore it. The salespeople don't adopt it. Sometimes it takes months, if not years, to have something new integrate into a sales culture. I'm making it up this mountain before Ruben finishes talking about sales enablement. I think the second biggest problem that sales enablement people suffer from is actually getting meetings getting all the salespeople to show up in a meeting. That coordination is so hard. I've probably heard the expression, it's like herding cats a half a dozen times when it comes to getting a bunch of salespeople together on a meeting. The solution that we recommend for sales enablement pros to train their sales staff is to use videos for their training. Don't actually wait to get that synchronous meeting where everyone has to meet into a conference call or a video share. When you replace videos instead of long emails or even just Slack messages, so much happens. People take you seriously. People will listen to you more. You know, have you ever sent a Slack message and then you just never hear back? If you send a video, you're way more likely to get a response. It's that human element. Continuing my hike up this mountain. Sun's going down. Record a video preemptively and get it right. Take a 30 minute conversation and punch it down to a six minute or even a two minute video that trains your entire staff. This way they can watch it on their own time, on any device that they want, whenever they want to, and they can replay it as many times as they'd like to understand what it is that you're trying to convey to them. What we have seen is that screen videos like this work so much better than having an organized meeting where people have to get together. We also recommend piecemealing training videos so that they're a little bit more palatable. A 30 minute training session is hard to get through and it's hard to remember. If information can be cut into smaller videos that are played in a playlist or even additional call to action buttons where someone can click on something to learn more information, the whole process becomes easier for everyone. And record a video, send the video. The whole process should take less than 30 seconds. So find a video tool that's efficient, that's quick, it's nimble. I don't know, sun's going down. Hopefully I make it to the top of the mountain before Ruben finishes talking about sales enablement. The old adage is that you can only get two out of the following three things quality, price, and speed. But now all that has changed. Maybe now there's no sacrifice. Maybe we can get all three things because adding levels of humanization and adding levels of value, they provide quality that's repeatable very quick with an ROI that makes a ton of sense. We have a lot of empathy for people that take a chance, that actually put sometimes their job on the line to adopt a new type of framework or a technology. What we always recommend when it comes to integrating new technology into a sales process is pilot tests. You know, have one or two people pilot a new type of technology. See if it works. See where the failures are. See where the learnings are. Get information that's valuable that can then be disseminated down to the rest of the group so that ultimately you can scale your winnings in a very methodical and even responsible way. I'll start running. Here we go. All right, I'm running. I'm running. We're gonna make it. Using video in sales is not a new technology. It's been around for years. What we have done at Dub is to try to make the integration of video for sales leaders fundamentally easier and more effective. Something where it's a one-click record situation, whether it's a screen video or a mobile video or a webcam video, the old mantra of always be closing has fundamentally changed in the sales industry. Now it's about consulting. It's about providing value and helping people. Now it's always be consulting. The amazing thing about using video in sales is that you can start to build a relationship without having to chase someone down. The repeated phone calls, the incessant emails, that idea that one has to be aggressive to get someone's attention. The reality of that chase is that it has the opposite of the desired outcome. It turns people away, it makes people angry. It uses visual communication to convey ideas, to help people solve their problem. What a lot of people do with our screen recorder is that they put their profile pic instead of a live video feed so they can have that level of personalization with the human touch without people having to actually see that it's four o'clock in the morning and they're actually wearing their PJs. When salespeople start to send videos conveying value and building trust, they instantly see a result. They get great responses, they get better sales-focused touch points 
that help ultimately to drive the sale. Plus, one of my favorite aspects of sharing a video is that it's more fun. Creating a video in this day and age with the devices that we have, it's super simple. And sometimes it's a lot easier than writing a long, convoluted email. Visual communication streamlines the whole process. One of our best kept secrets is that we create playlists so that we can scale our video content to large groups without compromising on quality. And what that means is that all the videos that we send from a sales perspective have a five to 15 second personalized video. But after that video, we have an evergreen video that can be repeated at scale. This all uses Dub's playlist feature where you can quickly create a personalized video and then tack on something that you have off the shelf. This way I can say, hey Shannon, how you doing? Just wanted to send you this video to help you solve this specific problem in your business. And then as the end user is watching that video in their browser, it instantly cuts to the next video, which is something that we've produced, that we've created, that hundreds if not thousands of people can watch. I'm running, I'm gonna make it, oh wow. Got a view of Los Angeles behind me. The biggest problem right now in the sales industry is that it's hard to punch through. It's hard to gain people's trust. Sharing ideas amidst a world of noise has become one of the most challenging things. The reality that most of us already know is that sales and business and growth is built on relationships. It's not built on features. It's not built on price. The second that a company or a salesperson starts to compete on features or on price, it's a slippery slope and it's a race that most people cannot sustain because there will always be someone that will beat you on price and will beat you on functionality. The best organizations on the planet right now are adopting a philosophy of providing value first, coming to prospects and coming to existing clients in the form of a coach. But the only way that that's possible is to be able to educate and to have the right tools to be able to do so. At Dub, we are so passionate about enabling sales leaders and facilitating communication so that people can build trust. They can make friends with people, coach them on the problems that they're suffering with, provide a lot of value up front. It's almost like flipping the entire funnel around because towards the latter parts of a relationship, that's when typically sales leaders have provided value. We believe that all of that is fundamentally changing. Now the value has to be up front and first. That's the only way that people can open up their eyes and actually be receptive to hearing someone they might not already know. What does it even mean to send video for sales? A lot of people don't even get that. And we understand that because that idea has so many different types of meetings. The type of videos that we're talking about are the types of videos that people can record themselves, right from Gmail, right from LinkedIn, right from their CRM, and right from their phone. People should be able to record, share, and track videos without any friction whatsoever. The Dub platform has solved a lot of these issues. We have a desktop screen recorder, we have a Chrome extension, there's a mobile app, there's integrations into Gmail, LinkedIn, dozens of CRMs. Calls to action are one of the most important things that someone can do because it gives people an option on what they can do after they watch the video like fill out a form, schedule a time, even purchase something right on the fly. We use calendar booking pages for all the different types of activities that we have. What does that mean? Well, it's simple. It's a video page that has a personalized video on it and then a calendar booking widget directly embedded into the page so that end users can watch a video, learn something, and then be inspired to book a time in a salesperson's calendar. So if you have some extra time, go to dub.com and check it out. Wow. I made it to the top of the mountain. Uh, I feel accomplished. It's really dark out, so you probably you probably didn't you probably can't even see me for all these shots. I'm a silhouette in the dark, and you cannot see me at all. So I guess I'm gonna end the video right here. Be sure to oh you can kind of see me now. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment with your favorite tip that we recommended today, and that's it. No, nope, it's gone. Oh, you know what? That is not a speck of dust on your lens. That's actually the reflection of a light. <laughs>